wish you'd be quiet for one minute. Are you serious? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Tink. It didn't count. Why are you like this? <laughs> I posted a poll recently. But when I tell you guys, it was a fight. <laughs> the girls were pulling hair, the claws were out. Like, it was a fight between Shrek and Tinkerbell. And luckily and fortunately, Tinkerbell won. This is part one of a three part series watching all the Tinkerbell movies. So, the full reactions are on Patreon, or you can just subscribe and, you know, so you know when I post the next one. Let's get into the first Tinkerbell that was released in 2008, okay? Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. The Disney intro just never gets old. It doesn't. It never gets old. Have you ever wondered how nature gets its glow? Who helps all creatures, great and small, to walk, to swim, to fly? Who crafts such tiny details? Let me stop, because you know me. You know me and my Christian self. You know what I'm going to say, okay? The name start with a J. Period. First time that a baby laughs, a fairy's life takes flight. Oh, this town looks like the town in Peter Pan. I thought they had, like, no connection. Are we just seeing, like, the beginning of Tinkerbell before she meets Peter Pan? Or does Peter Pan have nothing to do with this film series whatsoever? Okay, we got some boy fairies. Some boy fairies in the mix. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, shoot. Oh. Is this how all fairies are born? From like the flower of a daffodil? So we get a flower, the little petal, whatever. We put some dust on it. Boom, fairy. Welcome to Pixie Hollow. Pixie Hollow. I think so. They're automatically born with the ability to talk. I love the hair down. Okay. Slay! They will help you find your talent, little one. How will I know which one is? You'll know. Oh, it's how she picks her faction or whatever, like Divergent. Kinda. She has to pick her faction. Or the faction picks her. Where is she gonna join? I know she wears green and no one has green on. Nah. If I know anything from the series, I know that that girl is like our rival or something like that. Hmm. Not already sticking her nose up. Girl, we just met her. She was born two seconds ago. Calm down. This is her. This is her. Do y'all see me? Not you passing it up. What is it? A hammer? Oh, it's an axe. Is she like the chosen one? No one gets the rock. Never seen one glow that much before. Even for Vidya. You know, I Vidya. Come forward, Tinker Fairy. And welcome <laughs> the newest member of your talent guild. Why didn't I put that together? Not Tinker Fairies. Oh, no, that makes sense. You see, here in Pixie Hollow, there are different realms for every time of year. So they literally give colors to the flowers, the leaves, the animals. So do they just paint them or do they make them grow as well? Oh, that's where we live? Oh. <laughs> There's so much to show you. Is she gonna like it here? Cause she's been being disappointed. She's been disappointed by everything. She looked disappointed when she first saw them but now she's disappointed with the environment or whatever. Oh, she's gonna cut into the little green dress. And she's a tinker, naturally, so she can do it. Is she gonna cut it here also? Okay. Cut it or just put it up? I would just like to announce that it is now over for you. <laughs> Ooh, who is this? Are those some little sticky things that be in the grass that if you walk with like just socks on, they stick to your socks? It's all right. Fawn's got ya. It's all right. Silver Mist's got ya. Girl. Okay, we have Fawn, Silver Mist, Rosetta. Who else? Frank. Your rainbow tube, Zenadessa. <gasps> Iridessa. So this is our little gang, right? These are these are girls. This is our gang. These are who we hang out with. Oh, she moves the pollen. So what do bees do then? Hi there. <laughs> Video, right? <laughs> And there it goes. There's the beginning of their rivalry. Oh, yes. Maybe she just hates everyone. The new girl. 
Or maybe she just hates new girls. What's your talent? What do you think it is? I make breezes in the summer, blow down leaves in the fall. Fairies okay. of every talent Period. depend on me. It's not like spring depends on you. And when I go to the mainland, I'll prove just how important I don't think you're going to the mainland. For spring? She can't wait to rub it in her face. Trying to tell me tinkers don't matter. I'll show her what a rare- I love how she's riding for the tinkers when she just joined them like yesterday. Girl, do you even know what the tinkers do? You just got the job description. Stuff gets lost and washes up on Neverland from time to time. What? Things come from the mainland? Neverland. That place sounds more fa So we're on Neverland? Wait, where does the story of Peter Pan take place? London, right? You see, the queen is going to review all- Who's the queen? We have a queen. For us tinkers to show- This is a monarchy? Oh, okay, so she still has the little hammer or whatever. When the item chooses them, they get to keep it, and that's how they... Or is that how they're given the power to do whatever they're in? I would kind of want to be one of the other fairies, you know? One of the nature fairies. I kind of like with Vivida. Vivida, whatever her name is. I like what she does. I wouldn't mind being in that. Wait for the base coat over here. You know, some painting. Painting be nice also. Stack those neatly. Plenty of time before the queen arrives. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the queen. The queen is the girl we saw in the beginning. Can I keep up? Like, this is a child's plot, girl. Get it together. Yeah, that's her. I mean, that's her. Up the good work these last few days, because just as fairies... Queen Clarion! Queen Clarion! Girl? Did I miss anything? You can't just come up to the queen and start talking? I mean, you probably could in this situation, but, like, it's kind of rude. Go to the mainland. Huh? Wait, do tinkers not, I mean, do fairies not go to the mainland? <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Please. She's sorry, go apologize to him. Has no one explained? No, Vivida left me hanging. Tinker fairies don't go to the mainland. Oh, Tinker fairies, yeah, 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 okay. I knew this, I knew this. All of those things are done by the nature talent fairies. Oh, okay, no, no, that's... Where's that little witch, Vivida? Because I know she's eating it up. Good. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little embarrassing, but you knew. They're, they're not blaming you. They understand. It's it's my first day. It's her first day. Vidya was right. Vidya. Tinker stinks. What have I been calling her? The day you can magically make the flowers grow or capture the rays of the sun and whatnot, then you can go. I feel like she's going to invent something that can do exactly that. <sighs> okay, so I feel like the Tinker should still be able to go. They may not be able to work, but to explore. And who knows, maybe being out there in the field will help them come up with more ideas. Creative inspiration. Here you go, Silver Mist. Thank you, Terrence. <gasps> I want to try to remember their names, but I know I won't. Silver Mist. I think she is, um, Iridessa? No, Iridessa is, she's Iridessa. Duh, she was fun. Tinkerbell? Guess what? Or Rosetta. Not gonna be a Tinker Fairy anymore. What? what? Maybe I can just switch my talent. And be what? No, Tinkerbell. Okay, we're going to go through a montage through her trying to learn the other talents, right? And failing miserably. That's it, Tink. You're doing it. You're... Oh. Why don't we start closer? No, no, Maybe that'll work. Oh. <gasps> now we have to do that work. We have to do that work all over. The last light of day. It's the richest kind of all. Okay, and now. <sighs> So they just grab the sunlight. Yeah. Well, that's not possible. Do you think it's heavy? No. It's light. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it's light! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, they eat it? Oh, never mind. It would have been cute to show them eat it and then, like, it lights up, but, you know. See, like, they're, like, panting for it. <laughs> so I thought they ate it. <laughs> This is how it is when I'm playing. That's for my dog. But like I don't throw it. I actually keep it. <laughs> Girl, didn't she say that was precious? What are you doing? Okay. I know what you've been up to, Missy. And I had such high hopes for you. Mary Mary. Well, I'm sorry. Y'all didn't show her nothing. She's more interested in being a nature fairy. I don't want to be just a, a stupid tinker. You actually do want to be a tinker. 
You brought all those inventions to the queen for a reason. You just also want to go to the mainland. Your real desire here is not to be a different tinker. I mean, to be a different fairy, but to go to the mainland. We're teaching baby birds how to fly. <laughs> Why is he so cute? Okay, open your wings, honey, and flap them up and down. Okay, she should be good at this. She knows how to fly. The only reason why I can see her not being good at this is if she's too aggressive. Hi there! You want to do some flap flap today? Yeah, she's a little bit too eager. <laughs> no, please. Please. Maybe that guy can help. He's a really good flyer. Hey up there! Girl, oh my gosh. I get it. You're new. Let's use a little common sense here. I mean, is this really Tinkerbell's fault? She is very ill prepared. They did not prepare her. I didn't see her go through a fairy course of any sort. They really just said, hey, you're a Tinker Fairy. And you know, they gave her a room and told her to get to work. So she wasn't really aware that hawks were bad. I can't hold water. I can't hold light. Birds hate me. I'm just so, so useless. Tink. You're useful for the job you're supposed to do, which is Tink. Be a Tinkerbell. T be a Tinker Fairy. Why did they give her the name Tinkerbell? No one else has Tinker in front of their name. Oh, it's a music box. See, girl, you are a natural born Tinker. She likes working with her hands. This is good. I do too. I like to figure things out. You know, I like to put together IKEA furniture. <laughs> I put together my desk, this couch. Did I put together this chair? No, I did not. It came together. I put together my dresser. I put together that shelf back there. Yeah. Tinkering. That's me. If you really want me to be happy, you'll help me get to the mainland like you promised. <laughs> She's such a brat. Every time I see those stars, I automatically think Evangeline from Princess and the Frog. Will you teach me how to be a fast flying fairy? <sighs> Just sneak you out. Fairy now. You cannot be any other fairy. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Or if you really want to be a garden fairy. <laughs> video for what why what did i do to you why do you keep setting me up okay she figured it out oh video video one more time girl not my hard work that was hard physical work and brain power to figure that out okay is it gonna go to pixie hollow oh no oh my gosh Yikes. Looks like you should have listened to the girls and not Vidya. Because Vidya is the one who set us up. Queen, Queen Clarion. It was me. So what's going to happen? I did it. It was all my fault. You're going to kick her out? Is she exiled? I don't think we can fix this in time. We're going to have to cancel spring. Or postpone it at the very okay, last. Here's a guess. Here's my guess. Somehow, Tinkerbell is going to create some invention that helps get spring back on track that's the guess is it even possible to redo everything in such a short time there has to be some type of backup plan oh we were so close don't tell me we're only running off of one plan if it's this serious if stuff being held back is this serious we should have like multiple plans if it's this serious of a consequence we should have multiple plans you okay tink oh um yeah i'm going away for a while Who's this? Are we gonna have a love interest? We can throw one in, okay? There's six movies, right? There's six movies we can throw in. Sprinkle in. We can sprinkle in a love interest, okay? Thanks, Terrence. Terrence? You know my name? Well, sure. Why wouldn't I? Oh, and she knows his know. name? I'm just a dust keeper guy. I think I can see it. You should be proud of it. <sighs> I, I am. Come on, let's start listening to our own words. Let's start our own advice. I, 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 um... I, I... <laughs> Did he do that on purpose? All right, Terrence, I'll remember you for the future. I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. Wait! I know how we can fix everything. Tinkerbell? Does Vidya feel any remorse? Because this is literally partially your fault. You gave her that idea. You should be trying to fix this as much as anyone. Wait, are we really gonna listen to her? She's the reason we're in this mess in the first place. But Girl, or do you have any alternative plan? Bring. At least now I'm trying to help. Have you contributed any ideas? 
Maybe I should have told you to capture the hawk instead of the thistles. Right, expose yourself. This girl ain't contributed nothing to, to the restoration plan, but she got all this stuff to say. To chasing down each and every one of the thistles. See, what you should have been doing is taking a humble approach and helping Tinkerbell out. Suggest you get started. See, now you got reprimanded by the queen. This all could have been kept under wraps because Tinkerbell wasn't going to blame you. She kept that to herself. We need to find lost things. Okay, what have you got? How about this? Lost what things or pollution? Oh, Tinkerbell, you saved spring. Like I knew, like I knew. Can't Tink come with us to the mainland? Yeah, she's done so much for everyone. Yeah, oh. after she ruined everything. There's a little girl out there who's missing this. You mean I... <gasps> Give it back to the little girl? How do you know which little girl it belongs to? Is the address written on the bottom? But how will I find who it belongs to? You'll know. Go. Girl. I don't know. Okay, I'll just go end up bringing it to the wrong house then. Hey, something to help you on the mainland. All right, Terrence. <gasps> what, she's going to see a matching, a matching box or something? Mommy, guess what? Guess what? Yes, Wendy. What is it, darling? Oh, that's Wendy. Oh, that's so cute. It all means that one very special fairy might be might near. Be near. Okay, pretty solid. It's a great introduction to like the world of Pixie Hollow, I guess. Okay, so this is, I mean, obviously it's the same world as Peter Pan, but I don't know, I just feel like it didn't really, I, I feel like they wouldn't, you know, make it connect in any way, but I see how we're making it connect. But this also, it raises questions about how does this fit into the, the Peter Pan timeline? That's my question. That's what I'm curious about. Like, how does this fit into the Peter Pan timeline? Anywho, let's get into the next movie. Okay, the next one is Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. Tinkerbell is entrusted with a great treasure that can rejuvenate the pixie dust tree. I feel like that's a spoiler. So the pixie dust tree, what is it? What's, what's wrong with that? But when her friend Terrence, ooh, Terrence, I see you're back into the mix. When her friend Terrence offers to help, Tink's temper and stubbornness gets the better of her and she must go on a journey beyond Pixie Hollow to set things right. Girl, not the temper and the stubbornness. I'm rooting for you too. Not you ruining the ship before it even has a time to develop. Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. Honestly, good on Disney to make an entire world of one character. I mean, I guess they're used to doing that, you know, Mickey and all. I wouldn't mind being this fairy, the one involved with the dust. Parents, have you delivered the pixie dust rations to the scout yet? Yep, finish today's and half of tomorrow's. I think my boy Terrence is going to get a lot of screen time this movie. And uh, where are you off to? Just... Doing some errands and stuff. He's going to meet Tink. He's going to meet Tink. All right, you got me. I'm going to help Tink again. Ready for the official test run? Who voices Terrence? Why does he sound so familiar? Jesse McCartney? He voices Terrence. Wow. Good for him. Where is that guy, though? I'm impressed. Usually when one of your inventions doesn't work out, you overreact. <laughs> or, hey, what about Clank? <laughs> oh, they're cute. They have a great relationship, I can tell. Fairies have celebrated the end of autumn with a revelry, and this particular autumn coincides with a blue harvest moon. And what do you want her to do? A new scepter must be created to celebrate the occasion. Oh, you want her to create the scepter? The Hall of Scepters. Okay. Well, this isn't high honor. This is a high honor. Some are the work of animal fairies, some of light fairies or water fairies. So this year I want to tinker. It is the turn of the tinker fairies. You will place a moonstone. The blue pixie dust restores the pixie dust tree. And what happens if it's not restored? No more magic? It is ridiculously fragile. Thank you. Careful, Tinkerbell. Fragile. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. I hope she doesn't break it, but I have a bad feeling that she's going to break it. The trajectory of the light beam's got to match the curvature of the moonstone at a 90 degree angle so the light can transmute into pixie dust. The best dust keeper fairy. And the best tinker. This is going to be a revelry to remember. Oh, <laughs> Why are they so cute? Why is Terrence so cute? He's like a little cutie. He knows everything about her. They get along so well. I brought you some stuff from work. Whoa. He's 
so nice. Now remember, you get the most blue pixie dust if you maximize the moonstone's exposed surface area. Right. Got it. Okay, is she gonna get annoyed by him though? I hope not. He's just trying to help. Knock, nickety knock. Not him coming every day. Terrence, can I sleep in? Can I sleep in one day? The fire nice and hot. <laughs> Cause she's a tinkerer. She wants to be able to think and figure stuff out on her own without this man always there. Excuse me, Tink. <laughs> you know, you should really keep that workspace clean. Terrence, some space, please. Ah! Whoa. One, two. She's not gonna want this man hovering over her. Like, Terrence, have you showed up every day? Nickety knock. Every day, Terrence. Honestly, when I said that I was keeping my eye out for Terrence, I didn't think that he was going to get so much screen time in the next movie. <laughs> knock, knock. The blue moon is coming so soon. I thought this was going to be an end of the movie event. <laughs> Terrence, now I know you have a job to be doing. There's no way you got this much free time that you can come bother me every morning. What do you do in the mornings? Like, when does your job start? I'm just curious, like, when do you clock in? Daddy? Be easy, this is the tricky part. Terrence, not you mansplaining my job. I was given this job. You sit back. Tink, it looks like you need some sort of, you know, sharp thingy. A knife? That's exactly what I need. Could you go out and find me something sharp? You got it. I'll be right back. I don't think you want to do that, okay? You might come back with that sharp thing and it's going to be at your neck. This is not sharp. This is round. It is, in fact, the exact opposite of sharp. Terrence, why didn't you tell her? Like, why didn't you open it so she know? Please. Uh, I think that was your fault. I think that was your fault. Let me see. Now, would you please get this thing out of here? Girl, why would you bump it? That was actually your fault. We can't blame Terrence for that. He bought it in. He was very careful. You brought this stupid thing here. You broke the scepter. This is your fault. It's not actually. Leave me alone. Last time I tried to help you. I don't blame Terrence for this at all. There's a lot of things in this room that could have made the scepter break. So. Are you serious? I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't want it to. What are you going to do? That's your fault also. You kicked the thing out of rage and opened. <laughs> Kept her workspace clean, brought her food. Yeah, she was a perfect little helper. Search high and low. Ugh. I'd appreciate an assistant like Terrence. Good work is hard to find. And he was doing it for free. Without the blue dust, the pixie dust tree would grow weak. And things would be pretty tough around here, believe you me. Yikes. Oh, are you she passed out, girl. The enchanted mirror of Encanta. The mirror had the power to grant three wishes. Oh, here we go. The mirror of Encanta, with its last remaining wish, was lost. But beware. Uh, be warned. There's a trick. Of course she left before the warning. You may yet come to Great song. Far away island is close at hand. So essentially she's going to Treasure Island. Could they not have named this Tinkerbell and the Treasure Island? Ah, extra clothes. There are not several outfits in the back. You don't want to switch it up? This one's not for traveling. Make a pant, a short, a skirt, do a long sleeve. I don't know. The options are endless. Says here you already got your ration. Ugh. Okay, so the way the way the, the dust works is that you have to keep replenishing your, your dust stores so you don't just have it. So if anyone stayed away long enough from home, they would lose their ability to fly and whatnot, right? They wouldn't be able to use magic. I need some extra pixie dust. That's why you're here? Yeah. You wanted an apology or something. You need more pixie dust and you can't tell me why? A true friend wouldn't need to know why. A true friend I tried to be a true friend. Hey. Well, then I guess we're not true friends. Uh, I guess so, ma'am. I'm on my own, then. You really don't have to be. Ah, oh, Tink. She always chooses the hard way out. <laughs> the thing is, um, Terrence would have been more than happy to help her. Okay, there we go. Switching it up. Is this journey gonna happen alone? And no one's gonna come with us? 
Someone has to come with this, right? I feel like Terrence is gonna be hiding out somewhere. <gasps> My boysenberry rolls. Cheese is cheese with us. Ah! A light bulb. Did you eat what everything? Else, nickel muffin. <laughs> no, you're not cute anymore. I'm on a very important mission. I have two days to find the magic mirror and. Oh, not him shaking his head. Okay, he's cute again. No, I don't need any help. We're gonna need him. We're gonna need that light. Ah! Will you please? Oh my gosh. Why does Disney always give any animal dog like characteristic traits? What, now you need the light? Oh, all right. You can stay. Blaze. Oh, he's so cute. I guess we don't eat anyone. We have Blaze. You go ahead and get some rest. I'll take first watch. Honestly, I could use some rest. <laughs> uh, remind me to never try to film a binge type video on like three hours of sleep. You stay here and guard the balloon. <laughs> Come on, Blaze. You got it. Never mind. Not now. Oh my gosh. My supplies, my pixie dust. I left you in charge. Why didn't you warn me? Tink, well, I, I really need you to start taking some responsibility and accountability for your actions. You did not secure the thing properly. You're the one who broke the, the ball or whatever by kicking that thing. And you're the one who broke your scepter by bumping the thing with your butt. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, Terrence, Terrence. All right, you can use a friend right now, can't you? He left just like Terrence. You kicked him up. You oh, there you go. Never mind. I'm starving. You want her to eat bugs? This is not the Lion King. I know Tink is my best friend. Who's he talking to? Who? Oh, he's actually talking to a person. Who? Oh, never mind. It's an owl. She should apologize. Who? Me. Me. The You're next. Fellas are making fun of my kilt again. Who? <laughs> hey, Tink. It's me. Honestly, he can apologize if he wants to be the big person. He really did genuinely think that he was helping and wanted to help. We cannot fought him for that. Okay. Transition. You're not very nice. Hey. Right. Got God and gnome. Say the magic words. Go I'm on. sorry. Hear that, Tink? Get ready. Who's that? Who's there? I knew we were gonna need his light. <laughs> oh, did she run out of dust? <laughs> Is that pixie dust or gold? It's real. I feel like that's not it. It's too soon. He's gonna end up finding the mirror at the last possible moment. This can't be it. Please, I wish you'd be quiet for one minute. Are you serious? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Tink. It didn't count. Why are you like this? Blaze. Why are you Come like on. this? This mirror was my last chance. Okay, so this movie, so this movie is literally Tinkerbell taking a look at herself in the mirror and taking some responsibility for her being the cause of her own destruction. I'm sorry, Blaze your fault oh i know it's not my fault it's mine it's all mine i wish terrence were here he's gonna pop up what a tear is gonna fix it oh he is I right there stink. oh terrence how'd you find me how'd you make it past the trolls okay so what i was gonna say is that in the first movie she didn't really put no blame on the one because when vidya why didn't you tell me about the moonstone is he actually here or not i am here girl turn around i'm standing behind you <gasps> Terrence! Okay, so last movie, I made a comment that she didn't blame Vidya. In this movie, she blaming everybody for everything. What a nice little 180. Backwards, backwards character development or negative character development. <laughs> when, since when did rats eat fireflies? Hold on. Terrence is our ride or die. Yes, Terrence. I knew I liked him for the moment I saw him. I knew I liked Terrence. Not as being besties. I like they were besties. Y'all are falling for that. Lame. <laughs> He's so cute. We have to keep Blaze. I need to see Blaze in other movies. Do you happen to have an extra moonstone? Oh yeah, I forgot that's the problem at hand. Hey. 
I've got an idea. I can't do this without you. Would you help me? Sure. Oh, I love Terrence. He's such a cutie. This would work? Yeah. Okay, okay. Set it at a 30 degree angle. <laughs> reflect the He's so excited. Like a sharp thingy? Yeah. Terrence is so cute. Oh. He's the bestest friend. Hi! Hey, Clarion! Mary Mary! I made it! Okay, so what does she work out? Oh, it's cute. I present the Autumn Scepter. Oh! Stop. What? <laughs> that scream was crazy. So is this the most blue dust we've had? I, I've i never seen this much blue pixie yeah. dust before. <laughs> Come on, girl. It's showtime! Lydia hasn't been up to any shenanigans this movie. Thanks to one very special fairy, Tinkerbell, and her friend, Terrence. <laughs> the way she said in her friend Terrence made it seem like he was some outsider. What can you just say in another special fairy, Terrence, or something like that? Into all those tiny little pieces. Genius. <laughs> okay, but well, what does this mean for the next year and the next scepter? Someone's gonna have to make a design like this next year. He said they change scepters each year. I mean, each blue moon thingy. I like this song. This is a song from the beginning. If you believe, if you believe, if you believe, hey, if you believe, if you believe, but the treasure of true friendship will, will never lose its glow. If you believe, hey, if you believe, if you believe. If you believe. Yay, I made it through. Oof, I was so sleepy. <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> Tinkerbell 1 and 2. Why did I kind of like the second one better than the first one? I don't know. The thing about certain series, I like when we're already familiar with the characters. We're not really introducing anyone, but we're just saying, we're just telling a straight plot. The first one, we're kind of introducing the world, Tinkerbell, the rest of the fairies, and all the things that they do. And it was cool, but just kind of seeing a plot, knowing all the information already. I just think that resonates more with me. They have like nice little messages throughout the throughout the movies, which I think is good, especially since the target audience is kids. The first one was kind of just being true to yourself, right? I think that was the first message, and this one was friendship, you know? Tinkerbell had to take some accountability for the fact that she has messed up almost everything in this movie. It's almost her fault. Like, yeah, oh boy bought the the compass there but also he literally put it in the most safest place it was out of harm's reach it wasn't even close to the scepter nor that little blue moon thing so that was pretty much pretty much everything that happened to tinkerbell was her fault anywho this was tinkerbell one and two we'll be watching the next two movies in the next video and the last two let me know if y'all want the pixie hollow games i'll stick that in whatever video one of the next two videos if y'all want that i'm not sure how important that is just let me know Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. It's your girl, Kia J. Bye.